First Community Conversation today, we're joined by Alexa Osborne, Director of Consumer Experience for Centera Medical Group. She's sitting down with Casey. All right, thank you so much, Steve, and thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Yes, we are happy to have you. And for people who might not know, can you tell us a little bit about what the Women's Committee is? Happy to. So simply put, the Women's Committee really is a, a passionate cohort of individuals aimed at improving health in our community. We specifically focus on those uh, underserved in our community, really around uh, women's health services. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about some of the services that the Women's Committee helps to fund. Sure. So those who give really support a whole host of services. Uh, so directly uh, funds and time go back to serve the Centennial Tara Martha Jefferson Phillips Cancer Center, and also the hundreds of free breast health screenings that we provide each and every year to those women in our community who are underserved um, and also uninsured, underinsured. Um, also, our palliative care services, which really includes just a range of services that can help individuals and also their family members navigate through what is typically a, a very complex healthcare journey. Um, and last but not least, those high risk breast and cancer survivorship programs. Programs, um, which serve over 800 annually. Wow, so so yeah. many people this is helping. Yeah. What made you join the Women's Committee? That's a great question. I, you know, I sim simply just wanted to make a difference. So Centera, I have personal ties to both personally, our little ones were born there, and professionally. And so when I joined the organization in 2016, I knew I wanted to give back in a different way. And serving on the board of the Women's Committee has certain na certainly naturally lent you know itself to having me more involved, um, but it's really such a great program. And I think the last thing I'll say is that everything that you give back stays 100% local, and that was really important to me as yeah. well. Yeah, it's hard to find something yeah. like that. So um, Martha's Market, that's coming up, is yes, that right? The that's topic. the next big, yeah, yeah. big community yeah. event. Tell us a little bit about it. So I'm excited to share it's this Saturday, October 28th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Dairy Market. Um, last year in 2022, it was at uh, Ix Park and excited to share that we drew over 5,000 shoppers and raised over $180,000 at the event. Wow. Um, and the, the event is certainly a, a main a staple, right, of the Women's Committee and what we put on. Uh, this year marks the 30th anniversary of the event, which is really exciting. And over the past six, uh, three decades, we've been able to uh, give back over six million dollars to the committee and again back to those women's health services. Amazing. Such yeah. a great event. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about what people can expect and when it is one more time. So we sure. Know. Yeah. Yeah, so it's this Saturday, uh, October 28th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Dairy Market. We're also per, um, partnering with local downtown businesses. So if you can't make it to the market that day, there are other ways to really shop with the purpose, as we like to say. So I think people can expect we have over 50 vendors 13 dairy market businesses and over 10 downtown businesses who have all graciously agreed to give back a portion of their sales for that day. And I think everyone can just expect a lot of fun and fanfare and there's a little something for everyone. Awesome, it yeah. is gonna be wonderful. Thank yeah. you so much for taking the time to be here today. Thank you again, Casey. Yes, we'll have you back soon. Mm -hmm. And Steve, back to you.